We're showing uh, at the show this year our standard products, which are Elemental Live and Elemental Server. These are multi-screen offerings, video compression offerings, uh, as well as our cloud offerings, so the ability to take all that we do in an appliance form factor and put it into the cloud. Uh, some of the specific things that we're showing in terms of evolution of our technology, the first one is MPEG Dash. So we announced last month we did a live uh, broadcast of the Olympics over Dash in Belgium with uh, VRT, which is a national broadcaster in Belgium, as well as Belgacom, which is a pay TV operator in Belgium. We're also showing uh, ultraviolet, so compliance with the DECE standard for studios that want to be able to uh, allow Blu-ray players as well as uh, downloadable forms of their content to be fairly ubiquitous so the user can get their content on any device they want to get. If they buy it once, they can port it across platforms. The other thing that we're showing is advanced uh, video compression. So the next generation codec uh, is HEVC or H.265. Uh, the standard for the technology today is uh, H.264. So all streaming technology typically is using H.264, but we're showing the next generation uh, compression standard. Where, so where does that stand in terms of the implementation of that? It's still early. Uh, encoding manufacturers are starting to do their algorithmic work. We happen to build our codex in-house uh, right to our uh, uh, platforms. We build everything in-house and write it from the standard. The standard is fairly uh, stabilized at this point, so we feel comfortable devoting the resources. It'll be ratified in the first quarter of next year. Uh, and so you'll see encoders going uh, generally available, I would say, in the first half of next year. And then uh, the decoders, so uh, decoders that are embedded into mobile devices, tablets, uh, will start to follow thereafter. And then, you know, a couple years from now, you're going to see most of the industry evolve to uh, H.265, especially in the mobile, uh, mobile environment, the, the streaming environment. It's very easy to change technologies in that area. It's a little bit harder in the more traditional uh, businesses where MPEG-2 is still uh, available, even though you could reduce the bit rate with H.264. Um, so we, we see this as a multi-year effort. It's going to be a wave that'll happen. Uh, and we're on the early part of that curve. We're, we're already able, uh, in the work that we've done, to show reductions of bit rate of uh, almost 40%. Uh, but we expect to see reductions in bit rate that have the same level of quality at uh, 50% pretty, pretty quickly in the next 12 months or so. We view ourselves, you know, if you look at it at an overall level, content producers uh, and content distributors are all trying to get to the end user. Uh, that's one more that's happening. There's also the, the platforms and the technology that are going on. For us, uh, it typically means more business. So the more companies that are creating streams that are trying to get to consumers, the more technologies they're trying to utilize to get to those customers. Um, those are good for us. If you're creating more assets, uh, you typically have embedded existing technology that doesn't scale. You may be breaking down, you know, you have too much power, too many, uh, too much equipment, too many racks. Uh, in some case, you're looking at changing your real estate. And we come in and say, we can collapse, you know, your existing architectures down to a, a quarter of the size, a quarter of the power, less air conditioning, less, um, you know, operational cost, and that's the proposition we have in the market. So our, our cloud work is, is still early. Um, we are definitely a company that targets the, the top end of the market in terms of the world's leading media companies. Uh, cloud for them in, in many cases is something that they're dabbling in. Uh, there's a lot of challenges in terms of security, speed, uh, uh, you know, whether or not they want to put everything into the cloud. We think the answer is that they don't necessarily want to do everything in the cloud, but there are times when having a cloud, you know, elastic resource can be really good for your operations so that you don't have to build the capacity all in-house. And so that's our proposition. Customers today uh, can, from Elemental, use our software in the cloud on uh, Amazon EC2 instances that are GPU-based or CPU-based and have the flexibility that that whole platform provides. We can spin up you know, hundreds of servers worth of transcoding in minutes as opposed to the weeks and months it takes to actually build a full data center with all of the, the capabilities that we typically do with most of our customers today on the ground.